I was class of 68, and in those days, um, homosexuality was still considered a psychiatric disorder. I thought I must be the only gay person on this whole campus. I felt completely confused. I had nobody with whom to discuss this. Had there been any sort of gay role models on the campus or any kind of uh, support network of any kind, it would have been enormously helpful. I wish that it had existed when I was, when I was there. Cornell was the second university in the country to have an LGBT student group. At that time, it was called a Student Homophile League. It was founded in the fall of 1968. That group grew over time and changed names just about every half decade. And um, eventually, in 1994, there was a proposal created to establish an LGBT resource center. We want to uh, provide two essential things, it seems to me, for LGBT students on campus. First of all, we want to provide support where it's warranted, you know, as students go through various changes and develop their identities on campus. So we want to be there for them in, in, in those instances. But the other part is important. We also want to uh, support their efforts at community building. There's a huge disconnect between LGBTQ people on campus, whether because they, they're choosing not to be involved in the LGBT Resource Center or just don't know about it. And I think that the potential that the Resource Center has is to bring all those people together. Create a place that's really home to them, that's a place they can thrive, a place where they don't feel somehow out of place or marginalized. I feel so comfortable there and I feel like I can really be authentic uh, to myself and, and be the loud crazy person that I am and be theatrical and be perf perform and not be judged. It also provides, frankly, some really critical counseling and other resources for students who are at various stages in thinking about their sexuality or their gender identity. It's a huge benefit for Cornell um, because Every, as each of us find our community at Cornell, and it's a big institution, um, everyone does better when they find that community. I really found myself. Like I, I, it was in the community that I was able to become the leader that I knew I can be. You know, you wouldn't get that in a class. Our children today who are in school have it easier than people 10 years ago, who have it much easier than people 20 or 30 years ago and the generations coming up, hopefully we won't even have to have this discussion. But for now, we do. It says a lot about the university to, to say we are going to allocate for such a space. I really hope the Resource Center also helps teach kids about their history. I think every diversity affinity group needs to know their history. One significant dimension of my volunteer service is the Cornell University Gay and Lesbian Alumni Association, Kugula for short. Kugula got created externally um, or outside of Cornell, formally constituted outside of Cornell. And it was formed at more or less at the same time that the gay activism movement was coming into being. There's a lot of history that, that gets lost. Like if I didn't talk to these alumni, I, I wouldn't have really understood where we come from. I wouldn't have really understood what Cornell was before my time. One of the many ways that the Alumni Association is getting involved on campus is actively supporting institutions on campus like the LGBT Resource Center that provide direct support to students. Give to the Resource Center. Uh, it's it, in, in need of our help and whether that's in time or in money. Most of my donations to Cornell include money specifically earmarked for the center uh, because I think it's very important that students have a resource on campus. It's very important that the center have adequate funding to actually have full-time staff. It's important for LGBT lives and work and concerns to be present in every part of what Cornell does and what Cornell is. 
Cornell has a historical commitment to diversity and I think that it's one of the few institutions among its peers that has the greatest potential to be the best university for LGBT students, staff and faculty. We will create a place where parents will feel comfortable sending their kids. To make it possible that any freshman showing up at Cornell who has questions about his or her sexuality knows that there's a place to go. People just need somewhere to go where they can be themselves. But um, my hope is that it is easier for people to deal with and that those who still have struggles have what they need. You know, frankly, I'd love to think that, that we really could uh, lead by our example nationally. Ten years from now, I would like to see other campuses and other universities looking at Cornell and saying, we want to do what they did for LGBT students, for LGBT academics, and for LGBT research.